Welcome to International Home and Garden Show 2011. I'm Emmanuel Bellavo, and you're watching Exhibit Showcase. I'm here in the Ecoscapers booth with Michelle. Michelle, tell me about your company. Well, we're Ecoscapers, and we are a full-service landscape company, but we also empower the do-it-yourselfer. Okay, so why are you called Ecoscapers? Well, obviously we're ecology-based, mm -hmm. and we're eco-friendly, and um, we also have an Eco-You-Do department, which is very economical. Well, what is Eco-You-Do? Eco You Do is a do-it-yourself empowerment program. So we'll actually come to your property and we will do a two-hour consult and the customer will actually get a full design with everything they need to do it themselves. But they'll also get an estimate on how much that job should cost themselves compared to if we come in and do it. So they really get a good value for their dollar. Now if I have a backyard and I need to have some work done, I'm not really sure on how I want to design it. Can you help with that too? We can do full designs, we can do 2D designs or 3D designs. So we can really give you a good idea of what your property will look like in the final stage. So you're absolutely a full service company. Yeah. Design, implementation, everything and everything eco and done. Um, you have some eco products here. What do you have here that's so special? Well, one of our vendors is Hefco and they have recycled tire products. So something like this little mulch it's totally environmentally friendly, it's Canadian made, and it is actually recycled tires. They're color fast stained, and they work just like natural mulch, and it lasts a lot longer and does everything that mulch does. And the one thing with mulch, though, I find mulch actually starts to fade with time. This being rubber, it will not fade. It'll it always stay black fade. black. It lasts way longer, and it does everything that the mulch needs to do. Oh, it's incredible. I like that. And of course, yeah. because it's rubber, it's actually soft on the feet too, which is kind of nice. It's much cushier. The one where the pads we're standing on are really absorbent, and they're more durable, and they're easier to install than interlock. Now, what about things like uh, a kid's playground? Would you use it in a kid's playground? Yeah, you'd have to go with the proper fall standards. Something like this mulch would need about three inches for seven feet. But we basically assess the situation on the playground that's going, and then we'll put in the required amount of mulch. I'm Emmanuel Bellavo, and remember, there's no show too big for Exhibit Showcase.